Okay, we have CJ here and he is ready to answer questions. We'll start right here in the front row. Hi CJ, uh, AP Stidham, AP and Kelly, as we see at Syndicated Radio. Uh, what can be done about your defense to improve? And, you know, you didn't win any SEC games last year, so what can be done about your defense? Yeah, I would say limit, limiting space. Coach Lee talks about that all the time. Is The key to good defense is limiting space. Offenses, they try to maneuver and align certain ways to create space. And I would say that um, the first thing to do with good defense is limiting space. We'll stay on the left side here. Hey, Tyler Shaw with KBTX in College Station. Um, just g going into the season, what, what's kind of the mindset around the team, and, and how do you feel like you guys um, are, are ready, I guess, for, for a bounce back type year? Yeah, I say um, the mindset is go in there with a chip on your shoulder. Obviously, I know that we've improved, and um, that's for us to put on display when we play Virginia Tech. We'll stay on the right here. Uh, CJ Jordan Hill with Dogs 24-7. We're getting to know London Humphreys over at Georgia. Just What did you see from him as a teammate last year and what you feel like he's capable of at Georgia? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, he's fast. Um, obviously, the speed's there. Um, whenever he was at Vanderbilt, me and him were good. We were close. Um, obviously, I mentored him a little bit. Um, yeah, he's a good guy. High character. Front row. Uh, Eric Bailey with the Tulsa World. When you're making progress year by year, what are some of the biggest growths that you see in this program? What are some of the biggest things you've made from last year to this year as a program? Yeah, I would say our team just looks bigger. Um, we made a change in the strength program um, with Coach Steiner. And, yeah, I mean, everybody just looks bigger, stronger, and hopefully we can, um, you know, go through the season with limited injuries. On the back, in the aisle. Yeah, hey, CJ. Uh, Courtney Mims from Pig Trail Nation. After last season, you probably could have gone anywhere. Uh, why did you want to stay at Vanderbilt? What made you believe in this program? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I believe in what Coach Lee stands for. I came in with Coach Lee, and um, I, I know what he's about, and I trust him with um, I trust him with my football career. That's ultimately why I stayed. Whenever he told me, or whenever he told the team that he was taking over as the DC, um, that was all I needed to hear. Um, obviously, I'm changing to a traditional safety position. So when those two things checked off, I was all hands on deck. Left side. How excited are you for the the new stadium, and what what have you seen from it yet, and what kind of you know new experiences will it bring? You know, Vanderbilt game day. Yeah, the the south end zone is getting finished. It'll be done by time game or game time starts against Virginia Tech, and obviously that presents some more seating. And um, I, I don't know what it looks like because I haven't been over there, but I'm interested to see what it looks like as well. Um, just. Can you talk a little bit about the being a student athlete at Vanderbilt, um, just especially with the rigorous like you know academics. You know how hard is that to c kind of balance and you know be a football player at Vanderbilt? Yeah, I'm sure it's hard everywhere, um, but at Vanderbilt I can speak on it because I'm there obviously. But it's it's challenging with the. Uh, I mean we're a top 15 school, so I know it's challenging um, off the field, and it's challenging on the field too because it's hard to win in this conference. So I would say I mean it's challenging, but. When you do hard stuff, it makes you better at the end of the day. On the aisle. Right. Uh, CJ, what has been the biggest adjustment for you getting ready to play more safety and, and just getting ready for that role? Yeah, I mean, it's just seeing it from the third level. Obviously, the game changes whenever you're looking at it from a different viewpoint. I mean, I have a lot of experience. I've started, I think, 18 games. So, I mean, there will be bumps and bruises around the road, but nothing I can't handle. Back row on the left. Yeah, CJ, I've been Camago, Picture Nation. When you look at the positives from last season, what do you hope to carry over to this one? I think we turned the ball, I think we forced turnovers a lot. And with Coach Lee, um, with a more detailed defense, I know that um, we can capitalize on that more. He in Knoxville, oh, sorry. Um, tempers kind of flared last year uh, against, with you guys, Tennessee. Just, can you just talk about that rivalry? Yeah, I mean, that's a rivalry that's been there before I got there, obviously. Um, it's a battle of the state, 
So obviously it's it's built up animosity as it is, but to go into it too much would just be obviously there's we both want to win when we play each other, and I'll just leave it at that. We have any more questions? Sure, another one here on the left. Uh, who would you say is the the best dressed at, at media days? Uh, the best dressed. Oh, uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I like them socks. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. What, what about your fit? What, what you got going? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, me and my mom helped me pick. Or my mom helped me pick this suit out, so um, I think I'm pretty well dressed. But I ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> we have time for one more question. If anybody has one, here we go, front row. CJ, just curious for your thoughts on video replay is going to be available on the sidelines this season. How beneficial do you feel like that's going to be? Yeah, so before I got to college, I thought it was already there because obviously I see the NFL games and how quarterbacks go over there and look and see when they miss a read or whatever. But them implementing it to the NCAA would be – it's huge because if I, if I mess up on something, I can go over there and see like, hey, like I can't do that again because they're going to see it next time because they also have tablets as well. So I think that it's huge, and hopefully the points will go down. CJ, thank you very much. Good thank job. Thank you all.